For the Indiana Pacers, we've got Lavert and it's Sumner in a point. And for the match, they've got Michael Carter Williams. He's out there with Harris. Wendell Carter is out there with Ennis. And it's Okiki in at the four man position. And we're at the starting gates of a long NBA season. And for a team looking Doris to go all the way, what's most important to establish early? Well, I think first and foremost, commitment to the collective, meaning are you putting team first? And obviously there's always new faces. Can you integrate those personalities and the basketball skill set, get everyone on the same page? There's so much to be worked out early. Now here's Carter Williams, the pass to Carter. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Carter's got the game going here with the first basket for Orlando. Bully ball at its finest there. Carter Jr. brings a physical presence to this team. Levert against Harris. That one goes. Count it. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. So it's Orlando now following the score by Indiana. A nice shot by Carter. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Lavert against Harris. Releases from 15. The offensive rebound. Pass to Sumner. Shoots over Carter Williams. Sumner's shot is off. Okiki passes to Carter Williams. Harris outside. Here's Carter. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Now here's Lavert. Passes to be Thompson. Lock at six. Here's Sumner. Ball's knocked loose. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Left side, Harris. Carter kicks to Harris. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Just five on the clock. Here's Carter Williams, and he banks in the layup. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's LeVert. It's hauled in by Harris. Magic leading by four. Here's Ennis. Here's Carter. And then Carter with the jam. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And that one falls for Carter. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. Here's Batadze. Last time, 14 points for him. That one goes in. And so it's Carter Williams. He'll bring up the ball for the Orlando Magic. Pass to Carter. the basket his fourth he's only missed one of his five shots tonight oh this is the kind of start they were hoping for just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter great open look there well we know that McDermott came into the league with a reputation as a dead eye shooter get your hands up and contest or he'll make you pay Boy, when you think about Doug McDermott, the last few years with the incredible shooting he brings, he's also been efficient. 
And though the volume is limited, this guy has done as good a job as he can picking his spots. Here's Levert. After the made shot from Window Carter. There's the pass to be Thompson. Harris against Levert. Over Harris. And it's Levert missing. And Doris, with McDermott, he knows that's how he's most effective on the floor. That's exactly right, Greg. This guy knows his strengths, and that's his outside shooting, his ability to stretch the floor, the amount of deep shots he takes the last few seasons. This guy is a nice weapon to create space for people around him. Pass to Bitadze. A three ball. Carter pulls it in. Orlando leading by six. Now Carter Williams. Harris finds Carter. And here is Carter Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Wide at the free throw line. The shot no good. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Sumner passes to McDermott, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA, and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John Take Moran, I, I think Take he's a got a chance to be one of Two the shot. greats. And, and any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I, I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. So he hits both. I think I like the skill set of Doug McDermott. He's a phenomenal shooter and he's got tremendous range. Carter Williams with the bounce pass. Here's Carter and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Orlando? We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in the first half. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. And the first one at the line is good. And he can't hit the second. Pacers trail by five. Lavert with it. Going inside. It's stolen by Harris. And there's the feed to Carter. Stolen by Holiday. To the inside. Flushes it down to finish the break. Then you can see the willingness of Karis LeVert to get out in transition and create opportunity. Here is outside. Passes it to Carter. The Pacers have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Here's LeVert. Goes up from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Carter Williams. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. You gotta like what Wendell Carter has done in this game. 
boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. Terrence Ross has checked in for the Magic. And Indiana with a change here, too. McConnell's checked in. Indiana moving the ball around. McDermott, no one around him. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got four rebounds in this game. And here is Carter Williams. Carter on the wing. That one is good again. He's six straight from the floor with the basket. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. McConnell passes to McDermott. There's the triple. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here is Carter. He's got 14. The shot, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Lavert against Carter Williams. Lavert the pass to be Tadzo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Bamba is checked in for Orlando. Anthony comes in for Michael Carter Williams. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so here's Orlando. Now here's Anthem. To the middle. It's tipped. It's Martin on the wing. He's guarded by Ross. It's the crossover. Rebound by the Magic. Pass to Bamba. And here's Anthony from the arc. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Mo Bamba showing you the ability to pass the basketball. Pretty look. Outside, Lamb. Now the pass to be Tadzo. Pass to McConnell. Shot clock at six. Now here is Martin. He's guarded by Ross. From the high post, Martin with the bucket. Looked like some confusion defensively that time. Left him wide open for a nice look on the jumper. 
now Anthony passes it to Ross for the three. Dishes it to Bamba from downtown. That one doesn't go. So Indiana will take it the other way. McConnell in the corner. And the layup is good. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Lando's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. The three from Anthony. The Pacers pull it in. Bitadze's got four rebounds now tonight. Driving the lane. And it's Goga Bitadze with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. Bacon, he's checked in for the Magic. Hampton comes in for Harris. Indiana also making some changes. Justin Holliday comes in for Goga Bitadze. And it's Lavert in for Jeremy Lamb. Hampton kicks to Bamba. Another miss by Orlando. Lavert with it. 156 left in the first quarter. Here he goes. That's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. That's just a feel that you have in the pick and roll game. Really good understanding of how to break the defense down by Karras. Pass to Bacon. Here's Ross. Nice form on the 20-footer. And the Magic lead by one. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now here's Lavert. His last outing, he had 18 points. And he comes up with the deuce. Harris Lavert, great confidence in his ability to get off the dribble drive and make things happen. Here's Anthony. The pass to Bacon. Shoots. No good from Ross. Here's Indiana. They're on a 13-5 run here. Here's Holiday. Ross grabs the board. And so it's Ross. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. They trail by one. Three-pointer. And it's McConnell with the rebound. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Holiday gets the bucket. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Anthony looking it over. The tray. Not going to go that time. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Pass to Lavert. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the first. Five to shoot. Fires the three. No good on that one. We come back right after this. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. And here's McConnell on the court right now for the Pacers. They've got Martin, also Jeremy Lamb out there, and it's Sampson in at the five down low. It's Martin on the wing. Six on the shot clock. That one falls. Martin's got the lead up to six now for the Pacers. 
Well, Orlando shooting 43% from the floor. Passes it to Bacon. Kicks it to Hampton. Shoots the three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Outside, Mark. The dish to land. Off target from outside. So it's Orlando now. And Doris, just a devastating injury for Lamb last season. Tore his ACL and meniscus after the All-Star break. And Greg, automatically you know he's going to miss a large amount of time with that kind of diagnosis. But give Jeremy Lamb a lot of credit. Put the work in to get back on the floor, and this team's happy to have him. He still has a knack for scoring from the wing. Now, here's McConnell. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Magic trail by three. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Indiana's gone 0 2 from deeper in the second. Now, here's McConnell. Outside, Mark. He dishes it to Lamb. Three pointer. Connects from three point range. Lamb's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Anthony, the pass to Ross. Into the lane, and the jam by Ross. Boy, the drive ends with Terrence Ross taking a bit of a hit, but it doesn't matter. He scores anyway. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. Yeah, we've seen them burying their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. A good first half for them in that department. And Terrence Ross, the wing from Washington, signed a four-year deal with the Magic in 2019. The team loves what he brings as a 3-and-D type of player. Now here's Lamb. Drives to the hoop. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free-throw line. And Greg, with Ross, he's finally found his role. He's also a great finisher at the rim. You know, he seemed lost early in his career with Toronto, but he has found a home with Orlando and is playing his best basketball, knows what's expected of him and how he can help contribute to wins. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. Greg, not all drafts are the same in terms of talent, but 2019 was a year to remember. No doubt about it. I mean, transcendent talent at the top. You think of Zion and, and Ja, both could be future league MVPs. And the irony is that those two guys were teammates in high school. Go figure. And go figure is right. Outside, Lamb. contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line yeah looking for offense inside as they try to chip away at this lead here in the second Greg good to see Jeremy Lamb back on the floor after his injury he can still be a productive wing you think off the bench for this team no doubt about it more of a finisher for this team Lamb shouldn't have any lingering effects of coming off that ACL his game's diverse enough to get shots anywhere in the half court and he'll continue to be a productive player for the foreseeable future. Free throw drops for Lamb. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now, here's Bamba. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside, Anthony. Down low. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Right side, Lamb. 
just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. The shot is good, and so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Pass to Ross. This one for three, and again it's Orlando with the three. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. And the Pacers call time here. Goga Bitadze's checked in for Jakar Sampson. All right, a chance to check out stats for Jeremy Lamb. Some last season stats for him. He was around 12 points per game last year. Four rebounds and two assists. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Now, here is Martin. And he gets it to go. Martin's got four this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And the pass to Ross for three. Pacers with the rebound. Bitadze's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Outside, Martin. He kicks it to Lamb. Trying his luck from deep. A shot by McConnell, no good. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Orlando Magic. Dishes it to Bamba. Orlando moving the ball around. Now Ross. Ten points for him. Here's Hampton. That three off the mark. It's tipped. Here's Holiday. The teardrop falls in. And it's an eight-point Indiana lead. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. Greg, as a young player, one of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you as you were just getting in the NBA? I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft. First on the floor, last to leave it throughout his professional career. And that's something he had in common with all the truly greats who've ever played the game. Wow.
So a new group on the floor for Orlando. And it's the Magic with the ball. Eight-point game. Here's Okiki, covered by Mark. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. McConnell with it. With the drive. Outside, Mark. Just five to shoot. And it's sent back by Carter. The anticipation from Carter Jr. has a strong sense for when to go after that block shot. Pass to Okiki. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Now just a four-point pacer lead. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. McConnell passes to Martin. There's the pick. Shoots. No good from Lamb. The Magic have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. The Pacers making a change here. Lavert's checked in. Pacers leading by four. Has to be Johnson. McConnell with it on the wing. Holiday. Has to be Johnson. It's stolen by Harris. To the wing right side. Beyond the arc. But he recovers it. Got a piece of it. And Holiday has it in the corner. Fires for three. Rebound by Ennis. Orlando's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. He takes it in. Some solid defense there from Lamb. Indiana's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Michael Carter-Williams. Oh, the officials are all over that one. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. Shooting two. No good on that one. the second from the line. Here's Carter Williams. Last time out he had 13 points. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Carter, the shot from the low post is good. Carter's got 16 points. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. And Holiday kicks to Levert. Driving in. Indiana moving it around. Oh! oh. Wow. Well, Karis Levert with a little flavor to the finish. He has got big time athleticism. And here is Carter Williams. Harris outside. The pass to Carter. 
A rebound by Bitadze. Bitadze has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now, here's McConnell. Pass to Lamb. Now, Levert. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Magic trail by five. Now, Carter Williams. Harris outside. Passes to Carter. Over McConnell. And Carter with the basket on the assist from Harris. 18 points for him. Pacers leading by three. Timeout called the Pacers. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Terrence Ross has checked in for Ennis. Edmund Sumner's checked in for the Pacers. All right, a chance to check out stats for Levert. He had a strong showing last season. Averaged about 18 points a game. Four assists and four rebounds. You know, you look at the numbers and you think that this is great, but we know that he's capable of even bigger production. You know, the numbers look okay, but the eye test tells us unequivocally he is capable of more. That is the sign of a star right there. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. On defense, the Magic. There's a good screen. Here's McConnell. Basket counts. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. The Pacers have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. That's good for McConnell. And it's Carter Williams with the ball for the Magic. They trail by six. Pass to Carter. Back to Carter Williams. He had drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And not a bad passing center. Carter Jr. with the solid find there that leads to a bucket. There's a screen. Takes it inside. And there's the pass to be touched. There's Okiki. Carter Williams finds Carter. We've got 148 left in the first half of basketball. No points to be had here. Misses for the fifth time in 13 tries. Pacers leading by four. It's Levert on the wing. Defended by Carter. Loss against Lamb. And he drives in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. 
And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. And a tough opening half for him in terms of his free throw shooting. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Jakar Samson's checked in for the Pacers. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. In his bad night at the line just got worse. I mean, typically he's money. I'm not sure where this is coming from. Here's Okiki. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. It's stolen by Harris. Pass to Carter Williams. Back to Harris. Passes it to Carter. From 10 feet out, it's rebounded by Indiana. Samson's got four rebounds in this game. Lavert with it. Pass to Sumner. Now McConnell. Carter Williams covering. They set the screen. The Magic trail by four. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Harris outside. And the pass to Carter. Back to Harris. Magic moving the ball around. Five on the clock. And here is Carter Williams. Now here's Lavert. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Indiana out in front, up by four. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. They were never able to get the lead above four. They're in good position at the half after a second quarter that was dead even in scoring. Kenny, your thoughts about the Pacers and how they're playing? Well, you've got to love the work the reserves have done so far for them. The bench comes in, and they've been big, giving the starters a much-needed break. They've come in, and they've contributed. Looking at Orlando, Shaq, your thoughts? I think they let the game come to them. But they haven't got to the foul line enough, I think. That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. A fantastic game from Wendell Carter in this one. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Harris is out there with Michael Carter-Williams. Then it's Ennis. Then there's Carter. And it's Okiki in at the power forward position. That's his out there for Orlando. And there's a deceptive strength to the lean frame of Karis Levert, showing tremendous strength on his way to a tough finish. Here is Carter. The Pacers making the shot. Offline with the baseline jumper. Now Levert, 12 points for him. Pass to Bitadze. Holiday with it. McDermott for three. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his fourth rebound in this one. 
passes it to Carter Williams. There's Okiki guarded by Holiday. And he gets the bucket. Okiki's got six. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Pass to McDermott. Here's Levert. Here's the drive. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Baskets like this demonstrate who Karis Levert is. This guy is a fighter. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. On the free throw, no good. To me, Karis LeVert has tons of upside. This is a 6-7 guard with an outstanding skill set. The pass to Okiki. And here's Harris from the arc. Buries it from three-point range. Harris has got his first three points of the game. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Holiday looking over the floor. Pass to Sumner. Now here's Lavert. Takes a three. Here's Bitadze, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Chance now to take a look at some of the steal numbers over the scope of the last few months for Justin Holiday. Defensively, he's really stepped it up over the past few months. You can see the jump in his steal numbers, and it hasn't been by accident. He's put in a ton of effort at the defensive end, and boy, is it paying off. Now here is Harris. Passes it to Carter. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. It's not every player who can convert against defense that tight. Tip your cap to Carter for being able to finish without an inch of airspace. The Magic have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. The free throw off from Carter. Indiana leading. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Lavert's got 16. And so it's Carter Williams. He'll bring up the ball for Orlando. Harris outside. Pass to Carter. And then Carter with the jam. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Now here's Lavert. He's guarded closely. Holiday with the three. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Carter Williams, the pass to Harris. Here is Carter. Back to Harris for the lead. Rebounded by McDermott. McDermott's got four rebounds now tonight. Now the pass to Sumner. Indiana moving the ball around from the arc. McDermott can't get it to go. The Magic have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Carter Williams, the pass to Harris. 
Carter down low. He's got 22, and the call will be against Karis LeVert. That's his first foul. And it's the Magic with the ball. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Harris drives in. And the layup's good off the glass. Harris has got his second bucket. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Lavert with it. And it's Carter picking him up. Pass to Okiki. Back to Carter Williams. There's Okiki guarded by Holiday. Okiki, no good. Pacers have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Here's Sumner, guarded by Harris, and it's good for two. And the Pacers lead by one. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. Carter Williams finds Carter. The 11-footer. No good on the shot. And Indiana will go the other way with it. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Indiana. You know, I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shot. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. That free throw missing. Second free throw, good. Carter Williams with it. Six points for him. Passes it to Carter. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. B. Tadze's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Lavert kicks to Holiday. Pass to Sumner. Back to Holiday. Six to shoot. Three pointer. Lavert gets it to go from beyond the arc. Lavert's got 19 points. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. The Magic trail by five. And here is Carter Williams. Now here is Harris. Carter on the wing. Is Okiki. It's deflected, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over.
Orlando making some changes. Muhammad Bamba, he's checked in for Carter. And Terrence Ross is subbed in for James Ennis. The Pacers also with a sub. Jakar Samson's checked in for Goga Bitadze. Indiana leading by five. The pass to Sampson. Now Levert. The kick out to Holiday. Let's it go from deep. Okiki grabs the miss. Okiki's got his fifth rebound in this one. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Carter Williams, the pass to Ross. Orlando getting another chance here. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. McDermott with it. Picked up by Harris. Sampson kicks to McDermott. Puts up a three. He's off on that one. The Magic go the other way with it. Tries the spin move to end the cold streak. Holiday with the block. Pass to Levert. Outside Holiday. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Loss against Holiday. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. This is a skilled, hungry offensive rebounder, and Mo Bamba's size and motor make him a problem on the windows. Now, here's Levert. 19 points in the game. Four on the shot clock. Elbow shot is on the way, and he hits the jump shot. Levert's got 11 points in the quarter. It just feels like there are nights where Karis LeVert is unguardable. I don't need to tell you this is one of those nights. Here's Okiki. Bangs home the trifecta. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. It's LeVert on the wing. Guarded by Harris. And it's Mohamed Bamba with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. So for the Magic, Hampton comes in for Harris. And Anthony subbed in for Michael Carter-Williams. The Pacers also changing it up. Martin's checked in for Doug McDermott. Lamb comes in for Justin Holliday. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Edmund Sumner. And it's the Pacers with the ball. The lead is two. Lays it up and banks it in. Lamb's got 12. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Ross against Lamb. Ross, that's good. Now this guy's going to find his way to get the ball in the bucket. Contact or not, Terrence Ross can flat score the basketball. Now Levert. 21 points in the game. Pass to Sampson. And here's McConnell. Over Anthony. Again, Indiana. In the mid-range. Rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA. But it is on point tonight. Now here's Ross. 12 points for him. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 14 points for him. Indiana leading. Pass to Lamb. Driving to the basket. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for McConnell. Last season's performance for him. Averaged about six points a game last season. Five assists and two rebounds. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but, but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense. One night it's your night, another night perhaps it's somebody else's. And Anthony gets it to go. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. McConnell passes to Sampson. Kicks the land. 
To the paint. A nice shot by Lavert. Lavert's got 13 points now in the quarter. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. There's the pass to Okiki. Pass to Ross for the lead. And again, it's the magic from deep. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? One twenty-one left to play here in the third. Passes it to McConnell. Shot clock at six. Outside, Lamb. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Anthony with it. Pass to Okiki. Orlando moving the ball around. And the dunk by Bamba. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. McConnell scanning the floor. Sampson kicks to Mark. Inside. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Ross. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Ross has got nine points now in the quarter. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. And here's Levert. To stop the run. And that shot was up in time but doesn't go in. And we've watched three so far in this one. Magic lead by five. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Magic leading by five. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the court for Indiana. We've got Jeremy Lamb. Martin is out there with T.J. McConnell. And it's Bitadze in at the pivot spot manning the middle. No good from Ross. Pacers trail by five. Now here's Lamb. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. This is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Now here's Ennis. Outside Anthony. The three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Vitadze's got 11 rebounds in the game. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Here's Vitadze. Outside Holiday. Shot clock at five. And the wing jumper offline. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Orlando Magic. It's a three-point game. Out to the right wing. A shot by Hampton with no one around. But they get it there. And the shot goes down. I'll tell you, the next step for Mo Bamba will be more muscle. But he finishes through contact right there. McConnell kicks to Lamb. Over Ross. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And he's someone the defense should be keying on, especially in this moment. I think he takes that kind of defense as a sign of disrespect, and he was more than happy to accept the challenge. Now here's Anthony. Jacks up a three. Unable to get that one. 
Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Lamb passes to McConnell. Now the dish to Martin. Ross against Lamb. He gets it in there. And it's now only a one-point Magic lead. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. The pass to Ross. There's the three. Pacers with the rebound. Outside Holiday. To take the lead. No good there. So Orlando will take it the other way. Anthony kicks to Bamba. Back to Anthony. Ross on the wing. Covered by Lamb. And that one's on target from the wing. Ross has got 11 points here in just the second half. Pacers trail by three. Pass to Martin. Back to McConnell. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Bitadze. Another shot. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got rebound number eight now on the night. Anthony dishes to Ennis. Orlando moving the ball around. Bamba's shot is off. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Now, here's McConnell shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Magic. And when they've worked the ball into the post throughout this game, they have had success. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. And he can't get the first one. Some changes for Indiana. Justin Holliday's checked in for Martin. Karis Levert comes in for Jeremy Lamb. And Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Aaron Holliday. And he's good on the second. Yeah, being down two points instead of one thanks to the free throw miss makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. Anthony, the pass to Ennis. From past the arc. Rebound by Sumner. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. To tie it up. A nice shot by Lavert. Lavert's got 25 points in the game. Boy, that's just about strength right there. Karis Lafert just simply refuses to be denied. Now here's Ennis, guarded by Holiday. Ross with a wide open look gets the three pointer to fall. Ross has got five points in the quarter. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Ross against Lafert. Passes to be Tadze. No good from outside. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Ennis kicks to Ross. To the middle. Out of bounds. Magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. For the Magic, Carter, he's checked in for Bamba. Gary Harris comes in for Hampton. And it's Carter Williams in for Anthony. And a change for the Pacers. Samson's checked in. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Steve Clifford had to say to his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. 
Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Clock at four. Carter finds Carter Williams. I'm deep. Lavert grabs the miss. Lavert's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Sampson. And it's sent back by Carter. Pass to Ross. From deep. The shot misses. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Lavert the pass to Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. This guy is such a good all-around player. Karis Lavert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. Now the pass to Carter. The 10-footer. That one a little long. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's McConnell. Outside Holiday. Pass to Lavert to take the lead. Right wing. To the inside. Here's Sumner. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Carter Williams feeling it out a bit. Carter outside. Back to Carter Williams. Feeds it to Carter. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Carter's got 24 points. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Lavert against Ross. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Look at that speed on the way to the rim. Lavert makes the defense react to him exactly what you want. Free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Orlando leading. Here's Carter Williams. Passes it to Carter. Seven foot shot. He gets that one. Carter's got four points now in the quarter. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got three assists now in this one. Carter Williams, the pass to Harris. Carter right side. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And he's a crafty, kind of an old school big. Carter Jr. knows how to keep defenders off balance. And that one misses. Oh, 
And he's good on the second. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs him. Has to Levert. Driving inside. And he jams it with authority. And that's all about the quick first step of Karis Levert. He gets to the rack in no time. Now Carter Williams. Buries it down low. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Indiana's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And there's the drive. A nice shot by Levert. Levert's got the game tied up here for the Pacers. How about Karis Levert's confidence in the face of defenders to go ahead and power through? Nice. There's the pass to Carter. It's good. Carter's got 29 in the game. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Levert, and it's blocked. Boy, his vertical makes Terrence Ross an A-plus shot blocker for his size. This guy, his main duty's on the perimeter, but he'll get his share of blocks. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Edmund Sumner. Now, here's McConnell. Not a lot of room. Doesn't go for him. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And that one misses. He just can't seem to get right from the free throw line here in the second half. Pass to McConnell. Holiday goes in. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Big hops from the backcourt. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Wendell Carter. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone.
And Orlando has possession. The lead is two. Carter Williams, the pass to Harris. Carter down low and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Clearly a foul. Shooting two. And that one falls for Carter. He makes one of two that time. Pacers trail by three. Lavert with it. Knocked away. Stolen by Carter. This is it to Carter Williams. The Pacers pull it in. Holiday's got rebound number five here tonight. Loss against Lavert. To McConnell. And he gets the whistle for the three second call. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Magic leading by three. One thirty five left in the fourth quarter. Carter with a screen on Levert. Here's Ross. <laughs> And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And this is where Terrence Ross turns himself into a weapon. Drawing these fouls, getting to the free throw line, he is such an excellent free throw shooter. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he is unable to get the second one. Pacers trail by four. Sampson kicks to Levert. There's 117 left in the fourth quarter. Plays it up off the glass. Levert's got nine points now in the quarter. Now there's a reason Karis Levert shoots well from the field. This guy is great at kicking great opportunities. Levert against Ross. Down low. Carter. And then Carter with the jam. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. There's a minute left to play in the final quarter. Levert against Ross. Now here's Levert. Defense right on him. Off on the lane. Ross kicks to Harris. 
And here is Carter Williams. Going inside, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Carter Williams looks like he's floating out there, but has that deceptive first step. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. On the free throw, no good. And looking for a very quick shot here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. Now here's Levert. It's rebounded by Carter Williams. And so they foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Shoot two. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second free throw. No good that time. He really wanted that one. Holiday left side. Takes the three. Money! And now they trail by just four. Timeout. Outstanding Sorry. pass on time and on target. Williams dishes to Ross and they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul yeah you, you have to do that though you can't just let him dribble the game out shooting two It's the first one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off. Side holiday, it falls. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Take a break. Take a break. 
Two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. On the wing, Holiday. From deep three-point range, and no good. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Owens, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.